Hey everybody, this is a suggestion that someone made uh, that wanted to see Ambro go down on this stage. Here we go, I kind of messed up a little bit on this one. I end up wasting one of the wins, which was a bit unfortunate. But as you can see, the main tactic here is the um, to use Ber Berserker's skill as much as possible. It just stuns Amber and, you know, it locks her divine so you don't get <laughs> every hero back up to 99%. It's a really basic strategy and it works, it works very well. And at the end of this video, something really weird happens. Oh, you're about to see. She's down 7%, 6 Keep going down. If I didn't waste that win, she'd be dead already. But, yeah. Let's see where she is. She's at 5. One second, she should be at 5. But wait, she's at 75. How did that happen? No idea. Okay, let's go through it from the beginning. We'll have another opportunity. Oh, come on. So what you want to do at the very start is drop. Here we go. Kind of weird doing a video after you've done it and then recording audio over it. But yeah, we're giving it a shot. Drop Pangoli right at the corner here. Use his divine. And I hope that doesn't happen, but... And then release all your heroes where Amber is. Use E.T. divine to protect your heroes. Berserker divine and then his skill constantly. Just one after another. Give him the blade. If you have a max blade, that's going to help a lot to reduce his cooldown. Also, you want to give him uh, a pumpkin star. You can take that off one of your main heroes and just use it for BR and then give it back to your main hero. Which sure helps a lot when you don't waste that fourth wind. One, zero, there she is, gone. I did end up losing Pangoli in AT, but that's irrelevant, really. The main purpose of this is obviously to kill Ambro first, and then it's much easier for your other guildmates to finish this stage. Damage on this one was still pretty good. Not as good as the last one, but that happens. Take care.